Hi Taurus, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 28th of March through to the 3rd of April. Um, I haven't, oh yeah, I have got one announcement. I'm introducing these little beads that have got letters on them so we can get some either initials of first names or surnames, um, maybe names of places. Um, just be open-minded about what comes out. I have blessed them and that, but I'm kind of getting the essence that maybe they're too small and maybe I need to get um, something that's a bit bigger. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes, so just bear with me. So let's get your energy card out for Taurus for the 28th of March through to the 3rd of April. Lovely caterpillar and opportunity. Um, now normally I get from this because of all the eyes that this opportunity has become obvious to you. But I'm kind of got, I've just got this feeling that you didn't see this coming. This kind of made you turn round and all those eyes have opened and it's just suddenly, you know, like a cat does when they suddenly stare at you. Um, that's the energy that I got from that card was that you suddenly got this opportunity to emerge like a butterfly. And it is such a good opportunity that you may feel it's too good to be true at the moment. It's a number four as well, which means that either you need to take some time out and think about it, or you need to celebrate it. So, my darlings, what started your what the fuck for Taurus, please. 28th of March through. I'm not taking that many. That's ridiculous. Um, 28 through to the 3rd of, that's better, thank you. Facing your fears and taking your power back. Manifestation, wish fulfillment, why it may be fucked. Can I have a movement and journey card for Taurus, please? Okay. Can I have an outcome card? Not an outcome card, what you can do about the situation. Sorry, loves. What's out of their hands for this week? Reconnecting to your true self, Taurus. And your outcome, darling. So, what started your what the fuck for this week? Um, there's a little bit of um, internal... Oh gosh, I want to say that there is some internal um, battling going on about this card, about this opportunity that's kind of presented itself because in one breath, in one way, you really want to celebrate this, you really want to celebrate with friends, family and community 
however i get the essence that there may have been a walking away to a new way of life um maybe an independent way of life that you are now looking over your shoulder and you're watching others do the celebrating and you are not actually involved in this um that is a sad state of affairs it really is so perhaps this opportunity that is coming with caterpillar um is kind of like making you question making you look over your shoulder did you do the right thing did you learn lessons from that did you do the right thing have you done the right thing the person that's standing in that doorway um kind of has their own agenda they're kind of like folded arms and like well are you coming this way um or are you still looking over your shoulder at something else that you may have left behind you only you can answer that one my lovelies so taurus facing your fears and taking your power back you've got the queen of wands now this could be somebody around you a fire sign aries leo or sagittarius it could be that facing your fears is kind of wanting what it is that you want what it is that you need but not knowing how to muster up the magic to get that for yourself um now if this is somebody around you they are going to give you lessons on how to do this um but i am kind of getting that um taking your power back is actually understanding that you have your own set of magic that you have your own set of ways of doing things and you know i'm getting that maybe you're a get up and go a go getter but then you look behind you like you're having that and what you've seen is like oh shit i've left it behind again so although you feel like you can get up and go and get something it's almost like you go too far and you go to get it and you get distracted you move beyond it and then you look back and you're like well that's what i wanted back there and now i'm here ball in a china shop kind of analogy going on here my darlings and um, so just know that that queen is the queen who has got the magic wand she can make things happen she knows it's her birthright so if that is you just know that you've got the capabilities of doing that if it's somebody around you they're trying to get you to see that you've got the capabilities of getting exactly what you want when you want it your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked you've got the five of wands i'm kind of getting that there is a collection of people that you would love to have around you but because of ego either of the other people or yourself it is being blocked this getting back together this getting together these people can make a lot of magic together they can also make a lot of mischief uh, you included i will say um but i'm kind of getting that because of these other difficulties going on this opportunity of bringing these people back together and back into the fold this project this plan this collection of people that you may be may or may not be involved in um it is ego that is blocking this manifestation from happening so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be success happiness all the nice stuff this is the sun card it is telling you quite clearly with the sunflowers growing which is highly spiritual you've got this beautiful little house um there's growth around you there's hay in the hay um car um it's high days and holidays darlings it's literally your best summer's day times it by a thousand easy um and that's where you should be that's your movement your journey and i'm kind of getting that's probably where you want to be but because of these other difficulties you aren't quite finding yourself here um but you will do you will do because with the lord and the lady coming out in this position 
what you can do about the situation is make a fucking decision. Um, you could make it with somebody else. You can make it individually. Now, it could be a decision around a partnership. It could be a decision that you make on your own. But you definitely, definitely need to be making decisions. What the hell is out of your hands? Or what the fuck is out of your hands for this week? You've got the Ten of Wands. This is a completion. I'm kind of getting that all of a sudden you've realised you're carrying a lot of burdens for other people that you don't need to carry. I don't even think that the other people know that you're carrying these burdens and you feel that they're, they belong to somebody else, but I'm getting that those other people have put those burdens down and dealt with them, um, but you've continued on this journey, pushing peas uphill with your nose almost. You're trying to get to the top here, this completion says put the fucking ones down. They're not yours. They're not yours. All those issues and problems, the passions and desires that are running high. And passion and desire, when it runs high, doesn't necessarily mean it's positive. It could be negative. So just put the bloody things down and make your journey a little bit easier. Because I do get if it's in that position, if you don't put them down, the universe will make something happen where you've got to put them down. Because the universe wants you to come into completion and it wants you to come into a new beginning. And the new beginning would be a new beginning around projects and plans. A new beginning would be waving that wand and allowing new growth to happen for you. So reconnecting to your true self. This is a very nice card for an earth sign to get the Knight of Pentacles. You are moving in the right direction, albeit quite slowly, but slow and steady pace <coughs> always wins the race. And I have to say, Dines, at this point, I think you need to enjoy the journey, whatever it means for you, whether it's finances, whether it's career, whether it is home life or a combination of those, just enjoy where you are at the moment. Because just ahead and at the end of your reading, there is a let it go card. There is the five of chalices, let it go. This is already spent. Somebody has already spilled out the fluid, the liquid, the water from that chalice. And now they're saying, you just let it go. Let the wind have it. Let the universe take it. Because you've got three beautiful chalices still in the upright in your basket. Um, there is growth around you, even though it feels and appears like it is a deep, dark winter. Um, there are things around you that are happening and I have to say darlings that right at the end of your reading you've got a walking away card here to a new way of life but looking over your shoulder you have now got a walking away card and not even fucking looking back with the three of the thames. You are walking straight towards that dot door which is illuminated for you. You don't know what's behind it. But I have to say after letting things go. It does seem to be a better option to just fucking walk away for one last time and have done with it. However in saying that. At the bottom of the deck what's being hidden from you. You may get the essence with the eight of a theme is that you don't know what to do. In that case, I would say wholeheartedly be still. Do nothing. Do not move. Do not move forward. Do not move backwards. Just stop and breathe for a minute. Go within. Allow your intuition to guide you. Your soul voice speak to you. And for the guys out there, that's your gut feeling, loves. Um... And then make your decision once you have thought it through a bit more. Taurus, I don't even think you know what you fucking want. This reading is all over the fucking place. It really is. It's, it's like you do, you don't, you do, you don't. <laughs> Whispering woods, uncertainty. Really? No shit, Batman. The shades of grey within the fog will eventually lift Taurus. 
honestly lovelies what the fuck literally is what the fuck oh my god this reading is like wow anything else with Taurus place they just popped out of the middle didn't they okay to Taurus you have mother earth feel loved and comforted that's a really good card for an earth sign spring see your seeds grow broken arrow embrace the energy of peace and winter what was we saying about letting go take care of your needs I'm just going to get you some letters and you've got P O and P there's your little O and there's your P so if that you put that together it's pop could be a grandfather that you're dealing with it could be initials it could be a dad um it could be a place could even be look at this opp the beginning of an opportunity just saying my darlings, wherever you are, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.